All right, let's get to it, boys and girls. No doubt the Counter-Strike Global Offensive CSGO is a lot about aim, a lot about mechanical skill, and a lot about hitting those crisp headshots in the game. But without your utility, and in particular your smokes, you're going to limit yourself a lot as a player. And you don't want to be limited. We want to enable your mechanical skill. We want to enable you being this superstar aimer, running around, hitting headshots left, right, and center. But if you combine that with a bit of team play and knowing your utility, you're going to be next level. That's why I've created these videos where I am going to show you guys the top 10 smokes on each active map in the map pool right now that I consider to be the most important. Now, the smokes are for all levels. Some smokes are very basics and some smokes are, I guess, next level and, and for those who really nerd it out, you know. So whether you're silver, whether you're face at level 10, global elite, you've been playing Counter-Strike for 10 years or five years or one month, it doesn't matter. There should be something in this video that you find useful. So I hope you guys are going to like it. Don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment below what you think about the video. It all helped me out massively. So thank you so much for that. So before we get started, I just want to explain to you quickly why I'm doing it as I'm doing it. Because there's a lot of talented guys out there on YouTube, on TikTok, who creates a lot of awesome smoke guides, tutorials, etc. But I feel a lot of them lack the experience explanation as to why is this a good smoke? What is the purpose of the smoke? What can you use it for? So every time I'm going to show a smoke, I'm going to try to give you an idea and a, I guess a perspective on what you can use the smoke for, what it does for you. So you get an understanding of when to use it and what it's good for. I think just throwing a smoke because you can throw a smoke, well, that's cool. But if you don't understand when to apply it, it's worth absolutely nothing. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to try to add another layer and explain it a little bit more in detail so you guys are more than ready to own it on the server. The number one smoke you got to be able to throw on Mirage, at least according to me, is no surprise, the window smoke from T-Spawn. It is so tough to get out of top middle as a terrorist if windows no smoked off. So you want to make sure that you're going to land that 10 out of 10 times. Luckily, I'm going to help you with that. You go towards T-Spawn, where it all begins. You then go next to the trash can. You aim right side on the door frame right here. And then you got to be ready with your jump throw. Now, if you don't know what a jump throw is yet, I'm going to leave a link below this video where you can read more about jump throw and set it up easily so you can throw all these smokes. While you're getting ready to throw it, you have to press in D. So as you can see right now, I'm pressing D. Whoop, and then I'm throwing my smoke. And that should give us a, the perfect window smoke right here. So you can run out middle with no issues whatsoever. It is very tough to get out middle unless you have the window smoke. So make sure you know this and have it nailed down so you can throw it 10 out of 10. It's beautiful. Smoke number two is the poor man's version of the window smoke to be understood as it's a faster way of smoking off top middle and a different way of doing it, but equally important. We're talking about the top middle smoke. So let me show you how you do it perfectly. You again go into the same corner right here and you just aim right here on the antenna. And you're gonna have a perfect smoke top middle and it's gonna land here before you can be out middle. Just to give you the perspective from the CT player right here, you're playing with an AWP, you can not see on the left side, you cannot see on the right side. It is the perfect top middle smoke to avoid getting shot from window with an AWP. Very important, basic, but important. Smoke number three, which is very important, is the top connector smoke on A side, which can be used to first and foremost avoid any players from the A side to spot towards middle and give you a free way of running over catwalk towards the B bomb side. So the smoke right here, super important now there's three different ways of throwing the smokes that i'm going to show you one from t-spawn over here you go into this corner right here you just aim right here jump throw and you should have the perfect smoke landing top connector yes we got it no gaps as well that's one way of doing it then there's another way of doing it over here this is where it gets interesting right because you're now in two complete different positions where you aim on the tip right here you jump through it and you should have the perfect smoke once again for connector please fall down yeah we got it that's number two and number three is when you're already out middle behind middle and you in the middle of the round as an example want to call a b split i put up my view model preset position to three and then i use the splint of my grenade right here to align it just above so you can see right here that's where we are aligning it and throwing and we should have a third version of the top connected smoke. 
asset. It is super, super useful. Let's pretend that we're out here in the middle. And you want to do a B split. You're calling it. I'm smoking top connector, guys. All righty. Another guy says, hey, I'm going to smoke window. And guess what? All of a sudden. Wow. Okay. Let's just do that one more time, shall we? And then all of a sudden you have a free way of going over catwalk towards the B bump side without getting shot from window, without getting shot from A side or top connector. And it could be super, super useful. Smoke. Number four I want to show you is towards the B-bomb side. I could walk you through how to smoke CT spawn, how to smoke jungle, how to smoke stairs, but I honestly do feel that those three smokes everyone knows by now. If not, then make sure to check them out on some other YouTube guide in terms of VR smokes. This is next level though. This is what's going to elevate you to be a little more flexible. So instead of just doing the classic A go, now you can also do the B go. It's going to be the window one first. You go in towards B apps right here and you walk into this corner. Super easy. You then turn around and you just aim right here in the corner. Aim like this, jump through. And if I'm not mistaken, we should have the perfect smoke a window. Beautiful. Don't you think? Window is now smoked, so you avoid getting killed from an AWP. There's nothing worse than when an AWP is standing right here and just killing whoever jumps over the window. So you always want to make sure that this area is smoked off. It's going to help you out massively taking the B side. Now, smoke number five I want to show you is, of course, the one for long door as well. Because imagine you have the smoke right here in window. You have the smoke right here. And now you're playing as a CT. You're coming from middle. Your teammates are yelling, yeah, it's B-side, it's B-side, come help us. Well, yeah, I smoked off window, all right, uh, smoked off long. So now you force the CT player to make a decision. Do you want to play like a turtle? You know, wait, maybe see your mates die, maybe bait them and just do absolutely nothing. Or do you want to take the gamble, take the risk and run through the smokes and be exposed to everything that is at the B-bomb side? Well, it's a tough decision, and that's why you want to nail down those smokes. So, let's look at the long door one. You do it from this position over here as well. First one, window, I just showed you. Second one, you go to these trash bags right here, and you just aim above right here. I guess in the corner, but just above. You jump through, and if I'm not mistaken, you should have the perfect smoke for long. Whoopsie. Yes. So you do that one, and let's just reiterate smoke form. Super easy, into the corner. And if I am not mistaken, you should have two awesome smokes that's gonna make sure that you force the C2 player, you force the C2 rotation to make a big decision. Do they wanna give up their teammates or do they wanna try to run out, flash out and save them? Well, you gotta be ready for it, but it makes it incredibly much harder for the CT players to retake the B bomb side in the early stages of the B go. As I said earlier, it seems like everyone or at least most people know how to smoke the A-bomb side. But does any of you guys out there know how to do these upfront, you know, upfront position smokes on the B-bomb side? I think I've played roughly a thousand, two thousand matchmaking slash facing games the last couple of years, and I don't think I've seen more than 10 or 15 players actually use the smokes that I'm going to show you now. The high level, super, super important and can definitely win you rounds and avoid you from dying in a stupid way. So let's dive into it. It's often known that when you've taken the A-bomb side, you find yourself in rough positions. You may stand down here with an AWP or an AK and you don't really know what to do with your smoke or you don't really know what to, to do in order to get away from here. Because if you walk out here, you can get killed from jungle. If you walk out here, you can get killed from CT spawn. So you gotta make sure that those angles are smoked off after the initial ego. So that's what I'm going to show you right here. Smoke number six. You go into this corner, you just aim right here between the wall and the whatever this is to the right side you throw and you should have the perfect smoke for jungle that makes sure that when you're standing in this position you can now cross and you're not dying to the annoying awp player who's standing over here holding this angle we all know it and killing you or the rifle for that matter as well so that smoke is super important in a scenario where jungle is smoked you're still exposed for CT spawn. And just like there could be a jungle AWP standing over here holding the line, well, we all know it. The AWP player standing here at CT spawn just waiting for you to come out. Well, you gotta smoke him off too. Good thing is, I'm gonna show you how. You do it from the exact same position. This time around though, you gotta do a jump throw. You are going to spot at this line right here, drag your crosshair down in the middle, jump throw. And if I'm not mistaken, you should have the perfect smoke for CT spawn. So now again, you do that one, you have a mate doing this one, and all of a sudden, the A bomb side is re-smoked after your initial go. So jungle is smoked off and CT spawn is smoked off. 
being able to throw smokes in an upfront position, it could also be that you're in a 2v2 scenario or whatever, is so useful because you can create plans around the smokes. So note it, learn them, practice them, because these two are going to win you so many clutches or maybe even retake scenarios on a map like Mirage. Now let's take it to the next level because I've shown you smokes that you do in all safety from the CT players. You do it from T spawn, you do it from T apps. You do it in positions where you're not at risk or where you're not pressured at all. But what about all the smokes that you can throw after you've taken, let's say, for an example, the A-bomb side or the B-bomb side, or after you had your initial duels? And those are the smokes, I call them mid-round smokes, that will often end up winning you the rounds. We often talk about how good you are as a mid-round caller, how good you are at, you know, playing a 4v4, etc., etc. Having set utility that you know how to use when you're in an upfront position is going to elevate you to the next level. The first one I want to show you is that when you're stuck at car position. We have all tried it before. We do a B go, we rush out B, and all of a sudden you're standing right here, but you know there's potentially an AWP player or rifler holding you over here, and you would just love to stay alive and not die. Well, good thing is I can show you exactly how you do it. You just go into this corner, and then you're aiming right here in the middle. You just simply throw it, and you should have a perfect smoke right here. That makes sure that you can jump up right here, and now you no longer have to be afraid of dying from this position. Of course, you have to be afraid of short, maybe window, but at least it gives you a way to move away from car without dying. Cause if you don't throw that smoke, you jump up right here, you may lose the duel. Or if you walk out here, window is open and you don't want to die like that. It is the easiest kill from a CT player's perspective to just kill your car like that. So let me show you how you smoke the window as well in one go. Again, we all know it. You're going down to car, you're downside, you don't know what to do. You may be stuck on site right now. You would kind of like to play in the bomb. You'd kind of like to fight window, but you don't know how to. Well, how about you just smoke up window? You go into this corner right here. You aim in the middle between these two dark spots. Right here, jump through. And if I'm not mistaken, we get another beautiful window smoke lane right here. So all of a sudden, you have a player right here throwing that smoke. You have a guy over here throwing this smoke. And in the middle of the round, you just recreated a Bigo where the CT players now can't rotate in. The only thing you have to worry about is short. Isn't that cool? Isn't that smart? Again, up front position smokes. They can create plants in the middle of the round. You can use them for fake. And more importantly, you can avoid dying the most easy way to an AWP player just holding a line, holding an angling, knowing that you have to come out at some point. Well, how about you just throw a smoke in his face and laugh at him after you win the round? For smoke number 10, I'm gonna cheat just a little bit because we know it. The one-way smokes are Mirage. There's so many different one-way smokes. I could probably do a video full of just one-way smokes, but I'm just gonna show the two most, I guess, efficient ones and the ones that you can always, whether you're playing, you know, Global Elite or Legendary Eagle Master or Face at Level 6, Face at Level 8, one-way smokes in window right here are so effective. It's technically two smokes, but they almost land in the same spot. So I'm just gonna show you right here. First one, you go into this corner and you just aim at this black dot. You throw it and it creates a one-way for left side window. Again, super, super effective. People don't really know what to do from the outside perspective. You can't see shit. You literally cannot see what's going on right here. So. Again, very effective. Now, the reason why I'm going to split these two smokes together is that I also want to show you guys a smoke for the other side. You go into this position, you aim at this black spot in bottom left corner, you throw it, and you have another one way. This time, it's for right side window. So if you're a window player, don't throw the same one way smoke all the time. Vary it between the two, and that will make it incredibly tough for the opponents. Once again, they can't see whether or not this is a one way or not. So it's going to be practically impossible for them to do anything about it. Unless they want to Molotov nade you or spam me through the smoke. You got to be careful with that. But as said, in many levels, this is going to give you a lot of free kills. And it's going to elevate you to put you on the top of the scoreboard. And trust me, if there's one thing I know from watching you dirty bastards playing Counter-Strike, is that you all love to be top of the scoreboard. That was it for all the smokes, my friends. There is tons and tons and tons of smokes that I didn't show you. There's also different ways of doing some of the smokes that I did. We constantly find new smokes. For example, the window smoke you can do in an instant way, but I thought that would be maybe a little bit too advanced for the majority of you guys watching this video. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you guys find these 10 smokes useful. And if you have a mate, if you have a teammate, a player, or a guy you like to play with, 
who's constantly struggling or never able to help you out, you know, when you're in a pressured scenario, please feel free to share this video with he or she so we can make sure that everyone who plays Counter-Strike on Mirage is as good as absolutely possible. Hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did like it. And don't forget to throw a comment below telling me what I can do better, telling me that I did good, telling me that I wear ugly glasses or that my eyes are fucked up. You know what? I don't give a flying F. Just leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day and see you guys around.